So I've had a ton on recently, um, had a bit of a tidy up in the workshop, move some stuff around and I've got a couple extra cupboards here you see, uh, to tidy things up but I just wanted to update on this um, dishwasher cabinet that I've been using. Um, I'm having some issues with the gloves leaking, um, been too spoiled with good setups so um, now working away with it when the water starts dripping through it's been really annoying me. Um, so I want to get that sorted. Also up on top here you would have seen in the other videos I left the handle on uh, but when you're trying to look through the glass you find your head is kind of sitting on it so that was really annoying. That's going to get uh, removed. Um, I'm going to do a couple of things around the glove holes just tidy them up because they're actually cutting into the gloves that was heavily rushed. But I've also got this here and this is off um, my brother's stove, um, the oven in, in the kitchen and um, one of the elements died so it got thrown out and um, while we were taking the scrap I decided to unscrew the door and keep the glass off it so I want to weld that in and seal it up um, just because as you can see there the microwave glass was just much too small um, biggest light picture on this and I'll probably end up putting a wiper on it because I've got much more room to work with um, but that's just a really really quick update with, with what I'm doing um, like I say I had a, had a massive tidy out I'm um, still going to do uh, everything over this side, but it's not on mine, it's my brother's stuff as well. Um, but as, and as far as, as this setup goes, um, that's what I'm going to do. Um, haven't had too much content, like um, I've been, like I say, cleaning everything out. I've got two projects on the go. Uh, I've got to sort out a couple of new cabinet designs. Um, uh, there, I have a few people... Uh, in New Zealand that are that are very interested in some decent stainless cabinets um, so I've got to finalize those designs put them together and um, just sort of bring them up to spec for for uh, commercial use um, so until I actually get back into doing the sorts of things that I usually put up on my channel uh, which hopefully will be within the next couple of months I thought I'd throw in just a very 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 short clip of the outcome of one of my projects over the lockdown uh, and that was building a, a cheap remote control plane so it took me maybe two days three days to build uh, and it lasted about 15 seconds but it still went much better than I thought it was going to go I've never flown a plane before on um, a remote control plane or a real one for that matter um, other than in video games so um, a big learning curve for me, a little bit of fun, um, kept me busy for a little while during the lockdown period um, and then for an extremely short period of time after we came out of lockdown so I thought I'd just chuck that up just for a little bit of enjoyment. Now the camera that I was using to film it um, unfortunately didn't work properly so I missed out on the better footage but fortunately there was somebody else here that was also filming and I've managed to get uh, that clip so um, the explanation was much longer than the flight's going to be and uh, hopefully you can enjoy and have a bit of a laugh like I did. Uh, it's just a cheap thing, it's made out of foam so I'll rebuild it and have another go later so um, I think there's probably to be a bit more enjoyment and laughing at my lack of piling abilities to come so um, enjoy. <laughs> 